Hello everyone, Seed Link here, back with the next episode of Marble League 2021. Uh, this one is the Steeplechase. I've not seen this event yet, and I'm actually recording them pretty much as soon as they come out because I usually get spoiled pretty quickly and I really don't want to get spoiled. So that's why I'm prioritizing recording rather than like recording one, then uploading one, recording one, then uploading one. And also I really just want to watch each event and, you know, be up to date on it. So without further ado, let's get into this. This isn't just for the entertainment of YouTube, it's for mine as well. The origins of the steeplechase go back more than 100 years overseas in Ireland. But this adaptation is going to be slightly different here inside the home of the crazy cat's eyes. So things haven't been going amazing. I'm Greg Woods. Team Momo events. leads the way, but especially Rojo have gotten rollers. a bit closer, just a seven point lead up at the top. Back in 2017, when we ran this know. event, the top four teams back then in steeplechase were the top four teams overall. Not really in that order, but still, will the top four perform well here? We'll have to see. As the. Oh. My, there's already a stoppage back there. We've got somebody who got caught at the beginning, but this is a great representation. So I think I actually remember this the times from a are long the time sum ago. of the three best marbles plus whatever penalties they serve. So you have to clear those gates. Make sure that you make it down the order. The rollers to start. The blue pupils will serve as the event records. Since this is a new course. As we get things going with the Rojo Rollers. Oh, and one goes to the near side. Veered off. That is going to be a penalty. I think there was another bump farther down below. And that is a 23-6-7. Here was the first obstacle getting caught and immediately tumbling to the side. If you dislodge those sticks over the steeple, that does get you a penalty. Minty Maniacs now. Top three are stringing out a little bit. They gotta bunch it up. Oh, there's a bump farther down. Yeah, these and don't seem amazingly a done. For them, twenty-three, nine, they seem, zero. It seems very easy to hit them for the Minty Mania. Especially that one there. Fifteenth in the standings. Yeah, if you go too much to, to one metal. side, it it's very easy to hit because you can hit the side of the Limers things. coming up now, just one spot ahead of the Minty Maniacs in the overall standings, and they've got a I nice would like tight to bunch it, formation it here, but it comes undone over the speed boost. It's the top three though. I feel like it's too prone, and that should help. Oh, two penalties though. 23 6 8. 100th off. Like getting penalties for Rojo hitting it, that's fine. But leading time. it seems too easy to stop. That's, stoppages are what I'm not fine with. Crazy cat's eyes up now. For the home team, just 13th in the standings. They've got to get going. You notice we're Especially working in reverse championship like order. Oh, there's the two that are dislodged as they work their way weird. down the course. Three, actually. And that's a 23 7 4. Those top four teams, by the way, back in 2017, in the order they finished, Savage left. Speeders, Mellow Yellow, Midnight Wisps, and the O-Rangers. Limers were down an eighth. Gliding Glaciers, a team that was not in the running back then, just like Crazy Cat's Eyes, are off now. Over the speed boost, they keep it in the middle. I think they dislodged that second to last stick. That's actually pretty solid despite the penalty. Oh, three penalty seconds added on. 24 6 9 puts them in fifth. Now, Mellow Yellow, one Apparently of those not. top three teams from 2017. Second place back one then. They've already stopped. lost one marble way back there. It's the top three times, though, that do count. Oh, and they've done it! That is a new record, which, you know, was. Not that long lived anyway, but more importantly, they go to the top of the standings. Kind of funny that the attendance did better than most of the teams. Seven, six. Like a third of the teams. That beats the Rojo Rollers time of 23-6-7. Shining Swarm coming up now. Tenth place team. Looks like it's going to be a quick event. Thus far in the standings. Oh, you heard that impact. You saw the second one. Down there. I think there have been more. There goes one at the back. Oh, yeah, that run is falling away from teams. them. The farther down they come, four penalty seconds added, and a seventh place in run seven. That tells you all you need to know. Indigo Stars. Lost one Keep on the in the middle here. Have they stayed clean? No, that second to last steeple. Decent. Has really complicated a lot of runs, but they keep it tidy enough with a 23 2 9 to move into second place provisionally. Yeah. Silver medalists with half the field yet to go. It's fine losing one in the back in this event. And we're back.
that was a very good time for an ad because I basically paused for a good one or two seconds before it came up, so that'll be an easy cut. Unlike the last video. Taking a look at the current standing. So, currently mellow yellow and gold. And the OSRs. Roller rollers are actually decently up there. And gliding glaciers. Yeah, I thought it seemed like they did well, but apparently not. Shining Swarm did terrible. Oh yeah, that was the team. I think I'm getting, I'm getting Shining Swarm confused with another team. I think maybe Indigo Stars, because I thought they did well, but I think it was, it was yeah. I'm getting Shining Swarm and Indigo Stars mixed up. I don't know why, but yeah, they were a team that I knew did bad. Only one team has gotten away with just a single penalty, and that is the team in first place. They actually could have gotten another one, and they still would have the lead. That's how strong that performance was. It's basically if you get into your tears. penalties, you're going to do super good. They've won a gold in this marble league once there. before. Earlier in the season, are they going to be able to do it again in this event? A few knockdowns. Doesn't look like it. Four penalty points. Second to last, they come. All right, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts, a team that has not medaled yet. Despite that, they've done super well. Separation with the lead marble. Now the second one passes. So one did not finish. I think we had one get stuck farther up the course. But they didn't. Oh, it's not a bad time. Twenty. Yeah, they didn't hit that many penalties. So it's actually kind of good. It, it's better. It's, seconds. You're added. better off losing a marble. No, here, there's where it got caught. It's better off losing a marble than getting oh, penalties. And that one lost run. because of it. The so Rangers, the former over, so silver medalists okay earlier in this marble league. They bunch way up. That lead marble slows way down. That looks also. super quick. Not near the end, though. Oh, and just one penalty second added. The O-Rangers go into second yeah, place. Yeah, that's the, that's the key of this event. Just the least, the less penalties, the better. Because at one penalty is There is where second. it became dislodged. Otherwise, they kept it clean over the speed boost and that tricky penultimate jump before coming down across the line. And notching in just behind I Mellow Yellow. Be Rojo Rollers are Not displaced apparently. to bronze. Just place the bronze. Does that mean they were brings us the hazers. Does that mean they're fourth now or third? Because it sounds like they if they go. were third, or it sounds like oh, this is getting well out of now, sorts. But I'm sure they're fourth One now. has been lost. They're hitting all that of the steeples a lot of coming down the and run. A, and a stoppage. Not good. Yeah. Four penalty seconds. Hazers are in last. Last. A team that sits fifth in the standings. Hazers have done like decently well here. They've won overall, all three colors so. of medals thus far in the Marble League. Yeah, they seem to be going kind of like this. The Somebody stranded haplessly like, up the course. Average, super good, super bad, sticks. decently Not good, working decently for bad. So all my teams have gone now. Thunderbolts fourth, Rojo Rollers fifth, Gliding Glaciers ninth. Now that's actually looking kind of similar to earlier events <laughs> with my teams, except for place Rojo Rollers with Gliding Glaciers. So again, not going to medal, but decent timings as long as it stays where it is right now. And if not, maybe just one placement. The Rangers. If it stays the way it is right now, Thunderbolts in. They are still going to be in a good position. Gold. Maybe even go up. Had they points. eliminated that penalty point, especially because Hazers they are above still would them have right been now. trailing Mellow Yellow, but just barely. Green Ducks are off now. Our fourth place team, who jumped four spots after the last event, they keep that everybody bunched up. Good. Is that too much chaos? Did they knock any sticks down? They did. Dude, two of them. That's super good. But though. it's good enough provisionally for silver. Green Ducks knock the O-Rangers down. I mean, I think Indigo struggle? Stars oh, might have been are out of the middle. tough to tell with the motion blur. They did impact that last one. I don't know if it was dislodged. We've got Savage Speeders left. The Quack attacked that course well. Savage it's Speeders now as we get into the final right three. Third place in the standings, and of course our winners at the steeplechase back in 2017. One has already finished. Penalty. They're going to get all four to finish, but what is the time? A little late. That was a large gap yeah. from first to two second. And look at the top time, 7.06. That's half a second off some of the best runs. Okay, raspberry Racers. Now the Raspberry Racers. And it was T-Mobile. This guarantees that Mellow Yellow will get a medal. Raspberry Racers, their fourth marble struggling. Top three, trying to bunch it up across the line. Looks like only one penalty total there. Up two. Fifth. That gives a stay for Mellow Yellow once more. They are guaranteed no worse than Silver, but can Momo dethrone them? First two looking good. Mellow Yellow holding the lead. Third one not so much. Will it stay that way? Looked okay, but not great. 
Yes, it will. Mellow Yellow have one goal. Wait, 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 wait. I think that's about my team as well. Mellow Yellow number one. Mellow Green Ducks. Stars, I think fourth. Green Ducks second. Get the silver and O'Rangers the bronze. Gonna go back to 2019 in the five meter sprint. The last time we saw Mellow Yellow stand atop the Marble League podium. Green Ducks in the meantime, that is their third straight silver. I mentioned they jumped four spots after the last event. That's gonna help them a lot in this one. Here was the gold Green medal winning run here. from the Mellow Yellow team. All four oh finished. yeah, that last one. All four Lunch ran four. pretty good time. It's only the top three that count. And it did well to get them a gold and 25 points for the standings. Just two teams only coming away with one. All right, so sixth and seventh. That's decent. Not so much for Rojo Rollers at bottom place right now, but Hazer's bottom, Savage Speeder's bottom. That's actually pretty good. Thunderbolts got better than Momo, Savage Speeder's, and Hazer's. So a lot of the top teams, Thunderbolts could jump up here. Rojo Rollers, probably not going to go up a spot, but maybe like a tiny bit. I can't remember who else is on the bottom. I think Minty. So yeah, they're decently above Minty, so they're not going to be in last anymore. And Gliding Glaciers are probably going to go down one or two spots, but we'll see. Penalty second. Look at the Green Ducks. They Basically, Rojo Rollers and Gliding Glaciers are going to be closer. Silver. And Thunderbolt's going to go up one, which I'm okay with. What does this do to our overall standings? Shakes things up just a little bit. Only in the mid-pack, though. The Green Ducks stay where they are, but look at up top. Eight. Okay, now nah, a single one of my team swaps positions. Apparently, Minty was quite a lot more ahead on points than I thought they were compared to Rojo. Wow, look at this. Hold on. Four, five, ten teams didn't swap positions at all. That seems ridiculous to me. So, Melly Yellow went up five. Or Rangers up one. One up from Indigo Stars. Down two for Chocolatiers. Down four for Hazers. Down one for Shining Swarm. So Thunderbolt's still seventh. Still twelve for Gliding Glaciers. Still sixteenth. Okay. So Gliding Glaciers are at least somewhat close to the teams that went down now. They're 72 and the ne next ones up are 76, 80, and 83. So if they can get a, a silver or a gold, they can at least get a near middle position. Now let's see, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts still just need two golds to put them in top spot. They've not medaled yet, so they're in a very, they're still in a very good spot. But with that being said, they still need, um, they still need at least like a bronze or a silver to get like a top spot. Rojo Rollers are at least close to Minty, but other than that. The, the gap between Minty and Rojo Rollers, as well as Limers, is, is big. So I think Ro Rojo Rollers are definitely stuck in the bottom along with Minty. Thunderbolts in seventh. Yeah, with ten events, ten events gone, six events left. Gliding Glaciers could still get first if they book it hard. Unlike, very unlikely. But they could still get, you know, a seventh or a sixth position, and Thunderbolts could still get you know, first, second, third. They just need a few medals here and there. You know, they've been very, very consistent. No medals, seventh place. But once they get medals, that's when they're going to catapult. I'm thinking two silvers, a gold, and like three bronze. And they're easily number one, I think. As long as a few other teams stumble a little bit. Because Green Ducks didn't stumble, Moho and Momo and Raspberry Racers, they didn't stumble massively. Same with some Fat Savage Speeders. And that's why we're not seeing the positions really change. Because not only do they have decent leads, but they didn't do, like, the worst of the worst. Although, with that being said, now that I look at it, the gaps are not as big as they were previously. Team Momo and Raspberry Racers are right next to each other. And Savage Speeders don't even have a 20-point gap between them and Raspberry Racers. And Green Ducks are one point off of Savage Speeders. Rangers are 10 points off. Mellow Yellow is 3 points off of Rangers, And Thunderbolts are 2 points off of Mellow Yellow. So the, the field has evened up a bit from the past event or two. And that's going to help out my teams, especially Thunderbolts, to really take a, a, a solid uh, podium at the end of it. So that'll be it for this uh, episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.